Welcome back, everybody. The 135th annual Westminster Dog Show came to an end last night when five-year-old Scottish deerhound Hickory took home best in show. Hickory also made history as she was the first Scottish deerhound to ever win top dog status. Joining us now to talk about the long road from a Virginia farm to Madison Square Garden is Hickory's handler, Angela Lloyd, and spokesperson for the Westminster Dog Show, David Fry. And last but certainly, certainly not least, is Hickory herself. Good Welcome girl. to all of you. She is good. Good girl, Hickory. <laughs> Angela, first in show for both you and for Hickory. What was that like? It was an amazing adventure, that's for sure. Only one dog gets to take that ribbon home at the end of two days here in New York City, and uh, Hickory did it. And this was a first uh, for both of you at the Westminster Kennel Club, but you have an interesting story individually, yes, don't you? I have a tiny bit of a background story. In 1998, I was the best junior handler at the Westminster Kennel Club. So you won as a kid, and now you come back and win as a young adult. Yes. Yes, David, very let me, proud. Let me bring you into this too, because um, were you surprised that Hickory won? I mean, or did you see it early on in the competition? Well, I knew I knew that she was a beautiful dog. I had seen her She's compete beautiful. before, and she'd won 14 best in shows and won their national specialty uh, three years in a row. And so we knew she was a great dog. And, and at the end, when you get seven group winners at Westminster in there, they're all going to be great dogs. But what it takes to make the difference is that it factor, if you will, uh, charisma, personality, pizzazz. Yeah, on the ground you stand over, and she had that. She was fabulous, and with Angela's help, uh, you I mean, know, you it's can, a team. You can they, see how she happen. walks in the newsroom. I mean, we're all just falling She's in love with girl. her. <laughs> she is a good, good girl. girl. <laughs> By the way, you, you uh, didn't always show deer hounds. You've shown oh. a number of different breeds. What do you actually have to do? I mean, does it take all your time? You've been doing it for, for a while. I have been doing this for quite some time. Um, my father bred German Shepherd dogs as I was growing up. And at eight years old, I started showing dogs, uh, puppies of my own, that he was involved with, and um, took it to another level uh, after college and making this a career. And it's a 24-7 job. The dogs always need care. I mean, what's it like for Hickory being on the road? I mean, like you guys are doing well, she gets shows like a, She gets treated like a princess. Like, she, she anything she needs, she's ha waited on hand and foot. Um, Hickory, yes, Hickory is that true? Is that true? <laughs> Does she never bark? Well, she barks when it's time to eat dinner. She likes to, you know, let us know she's hungry when we start making her food, so. You know, David, this event is the second longest running in history behind the Kentucky Derby. I mean, what do you think it is that just keeps people so involved and keep coming back? Well, I think there are three things. First of all, it's the competition. You want to see who's the best, who's going to be America's dog for the next year. Then I think it's the, the entertainment, 179 different breeds and varieties. But most of all, I think it's the alma mater factor, where if you're sitting at home with your Scottish Deerhound, you're going to sit there and root for the Scottish Deerhound and say, you know what? Ty, if, if I fed you a few less cookies and gave you a bath <laughs> once a week instead of once a month, we could be out there too. So what does, uh, what does it take as far as cash? I mean, you get paid, I'm assuming, to deal with Hickory. How much does it cost to create a dog that's going to win best in show at Westminster? Um, to flat figures, probably... What you say? Six figures probably yeah. in, in a year. In a year's in time frame. So you've got to invest six figures well, because, in Hickory. Yeah, you, you're, you're, right, you're wait, talking six figures and then there's six figures. <laughs> are we talking like one or 200,000 or yes. are we talking about half a million dollars? One or 200,000. You know, it's a hobby. It's like any other hobby. You can you know, dive into the deep end or you can stick your toe in the shallow end. You can have the, <laughs> you know, uh, with the, you can have whatever level of involvement you want. But does you get, win, does she get, win a cash prize? Does she win a, do you actually win money when you win Best no in Show? No cash prize. is just <laughs> adoration and adulation and the respect and of all your peers. And now she gets to go to pasture and just create and just breed, I mean, right? Well, literally to pasture. <laughs> uh, she's going back to live on her owner's and breeder's farm and uh, get to run out there with all of her all of her friends and relatives. Yep. You know, what does it take? Because she's five years old, correct? Yes. I mean, why is it that it's a five-year-old dog or five-year-old hickory versus a two-year-old hickory that gets to be best in show? I think sometimes it's a factor of the size. I think the larger dogs probably could use a couple of extra years to mature. And, right. and uh, a you know, big dog like this uh, really gets a feel for the ring and gets a feel for herself and pulls herself together. Does the economy impact the show at all, or do people who want to spend $200,000 putting a dog into a show just do it no matter what? Well, I think it still impacts. It. It's just, as I say, if, mm. if it's your hobby, maybe you're going to spend 30% less in a tough time, but, but you're still but involved. Did you see in the crisis, David, that things that 
things pared back, whether it was attendance and so on and so forth? We saw it a little bit, but not much. I mean, Westminster's entry is still maxed out every year uh, in the last 30 years. So uh, people still want to be here. You know, if you can only do one thing in your hobby every, every year, it's Westminster in the dog show world. Right. Does Hickory get a vacation, Angela? Yes. Do you get a Permanent vacation? Permanent vacation. <laughs> no, Permanent I, vacation. Am, I am going to be on the road to Greenville, South Carolina tomorrow afternoon. Right. But for a new dog. For, do for more dog shows. Do you feel, yeah. but not with Hickory, because she's done, No, right? she's going to go home. Oh, wow. So, but that's a little bit we're disloyal. Gonna be, we're going to part ways. Think? I don't think she'll feel that way. Well, that's pretty fantastic. <laughs> I really want a dog, but I want one named Steve. Well, Great. Listen, you can name dogs. It's pretty easy to do. <laughs> Champion Steve. Um, guys, thank you so much. Thank David, you. Angela, and Hickory, thank you so much. Thank we really appreciate it. it.